Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I literally just got out of class and this is what I wore. I had my turtleneck with my Pretty Little Thing blazer. Shoulder pads, you can never go wrong with this. And look at the eye, y'all. I did that eye I did, I like, what was it? I think I winged it on that when I was doing it like a brown and gold and then it became one of my favorite colors so I just kept it. So y'all, we will be reacting today to Jaclyn Hill's brand is done. More tea spill. God, I love this channel. I try to keep up with the mess because I obviously missed too much in the makeup world. I didn't know she had a new brand. This was a month ago. And more about Michaela being messy. But I think this is a little bit farther back. So, y'all, I got so much to catch up on because I'm like, I got a paper to do, but that's going to have to wait because I already started it. But I'm like, let me decompress. I got hot fries and I'm going to eat after this. And I need to catch up with the mess in the makeup world because let's get into it, okay? Just because. Well, I like our palettes. now about Forma cutting off Jaclyn Cosmetics and what the future of that brand might look like. We also have to talk about the Allure Best of Beauty Awards because some of the choices were pretty controversial over on TikTok and Michaela somehow managed to find herself in the middle of drama over these awards. How? Let's, Let's get into it. it. As you guys know, a few months ago, Jacqueline made the announcement that she would be closing down her two brands, Jacqueline Roxanne and Ooh, Close. Those, are those real apps? I think they are. They're cute. Them, from stealing designs to ripping off brand names, and I think that made a lot of people less inclined to support them. These brands always felt like a cash that was my sock. and you could tell Jacqueline's heart wasn't in them. Everything seemed very overpriced for what it was, and the items just weren't moving the way I'm guessing Jacqueline hoped Why is it like... That only leads Some to random stuff. Okay. Earlier this year, when Forma was going through their bankruptcy, we learned that Jaclyn Cosmetics is not and has never been Jaclyn's own brand. Forma owns Jaclyn Cosmetics, and Jaclyn is simply the face of that brand. When Jaclyn announced that she was closing Jaclyn Roxanne and Cozy, she also stated that the future of Jaclyn Cosmetics was also still unknown. As for Jaclyn Cosmetics goes, honestly, you guys, I don't know the future of my brand. I really don't. I mean, because of everything that I've said to you this entire video, I really don't know. I mean, I just, I really stepped away and I really just did the bare minimum and I was given such an incredible opportunity to be in Ulta stores and I've done the bare minimum supporting Ulta, which is crazy because that's literally my dream. Now, this. Okay, real quick. I think that's so crazy, y'all. I mean, this light is like too much on my glistening forehead, which I don't know why it's going on. I'm like, let's powder up. Also, these lights are not making it easier. Okay, y'all, let me like fix some stuff for I see them. Okay, right here we go. I think it's so crazy how it's sad that a lot of brands, what you say, like influencers and makeup influencers, it's sad that a lot of people don't have full control over their brand. But I guess you say this will happen when you partner with people and then you don't deliver and then the quality is quality. The God, can I say that? Then the quality of it, the products are low and then people not want to buy it and then it makes that go down. And then you end up, the pe people you working with don't end up wanting to work with you. It's messy and that is crazy. Um, I don't know what that, what is like a random, what was all that random stuff? I didn't know she had a brand of like, is that like, I guess that's stuff that's they're talking about. She's ripping off like socks and covers and shirts. That was the most random thing. I feel like people put their name on anything to make a buck nowadays. That's crazy. Let's get back into it. A lot of people. Having a cosmetics brand has always been Jacqueline's whole dream. And I thought Jacqueline she owned her brand. Any effort into the brand lately and tried to yeah, cause she wanted to put her focus on her audience and not being a walking billboard, but that's not that's the whole truth. After Forma went through their bankruptcy, the new owners who acquired Forma talked to the media and said influencers are no longer their main priority. They said they don't want to be about the influencer first. They want their products to be able to stand on their own. Yeah, that makes they sense. They wanted to keep their relationships with celebrities and some influencers, but they wanted to work on building up the loyalty to their products without having the need for influencers to be the main reason why people are buying into their brand. That's not good news for Jacqueline. With the new owners being focused on building their own brand products and Jacqueline not putting in a... Also, real quick, that makes sense also because I feel like 
you know, influencers like nowadays, these makeup influencers are get, it's getting so bad. And I feel like it's more drama getting into it. It's just, and it's taken away from the product that people, when they stop looking at them, they'll stop looking at the product. So that makes so much sense of like these brands wanting the um, product itself to be away from the influencer, even though it's about them. Need to have two different parts. So people, they'll still buy it, even though it's not like with them, if that makes sense. But it's just, because it's getting so bad and let me go on and say this real quick y'all because i might not have to do a deep dive at the end because like i'm just pausing to get through it but like i did not know she um i well actually i didn't know a while ago i was at ulta and i was like her old palette is still here i'm like you have not seen the palette from her in a while and her style is really nice so i'm like i was like hoping she was gonna do some more makeup but i didn't know she had all this going on oh let's get back into it Girl, get this tissue off the camera. A lot of people have been speculating that it's probably only a matter of time before she announces the closure of Jacqueline Cosmetics. And Just it close it, girl. Like it might be inevitable at this point. There's been a lot of rumors going around stating Jacqueline Cosmetics is being shut down and she doesn't want to buy her company back from Forma. Why not? The person that everyone knows about in the beauty industry is Kevin James Bennett. I don't know him. <laughs> on his Instagram that he was at a trade show and he was told information by someone who used to manufacture Jacqueline Cosmetics that Jacqueline Cosmetics is heading for closure. He wrote, I attended a B2B industry trade show makeup in New York yesterday, and the tea was exceptionally hot. <laughs> so the messy. The who has worked with Jacqueline Cosmetics told me that Forma Brands is allegedly not moving forward with the brand. Why don't she just buy her own Jacqueline brand out? I will put my brand back. So you can... Not to acquire her namesake brand and revive it. So wait, let's backtrack. According to court documents, it's been verified that Jacqueline Hill has never owned Jacqueline Cosmetics or How do you... been a partner. She owns 0% of the company, is a paid consultant, and former brands license her name and likeness for Jacqueline Cosmetics. If I understand this correctly, Forma allegedly offered Jacqueline the option of taking ownership of her namesake brand, the brand she still claims to be CEO of. That real quick, real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Jeez, girl, what do you want to do? It's like, at this point, they offer everybody, I feel like everybody's offering her to take her stuff back. It's like, they're giving you like, take your name. This is your brand that you wanted. Oh, 100%, you can tell this about the money because it seems like she don't want to do the work. That's crazy. The like, you could easily get your name back, license your name, start your own brand yourself away from this, um, the former brand. I never heard of Forma, but um, you know, but the fact that they license her name and it's like they basically own everything and she don't care. How you gonna make a sad video talking about this gonna be the end and you have to, I feel like they be one people to feel sorry for them. And I'm like, I don't feel sorry for you. This is your brand. Why not like take advantage of it and take it back and you could do your own stuff away from it by yourself. I'm confused. The brand she still claims to be CEO of that called a family member and she's turning it down. Maybe she just don't want to be a part of it. Like, she really don't want nothing to do with that. No more, no more makeup. Because I'm like, girl, you do makeup. Well, I would want my brand name back. I'm like, you know, nowadays with the brands and stuff, people be fighting to have their names back. And the fact that they even told her to get it, it's like she turned it down. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, she is something else. Family business, and she's turning it down. Hasn't Jacqueline repeatedly said her biggest issue was on owning a cosmetics company in her name? Can someone please explain why multi million? Oh, she don't care no more. Cosmetics. She don't care. It's okay, with former brands letting it die a slow death. What is going on? Their way out of bankruptcy? I'm confused. This alleged news goes against everything Jacqueline ever said about owning a cosmetics. I will let her own a cosmetic I mean, brand. Honestly, that is just... I would not be surprised if all that turns out to be true. Yes, it's always been Jacqueline's dream to own her own cosmetics. Don't line. seem like it. I think once she actually had the chance to create it's one, like too she much. Saw how much work goes into yeah. owning and running your own brand, and she decided it was way too much work, and that's why she let Forma run her brand in the first place. Yeah, that makes so, so much Jacqueline's sense. Jacqueline's brand is dying because she has like this horrible formula, and no one. And she has a good formula. People do love some of the stuff. Her formula is really good. And I wanted that mist, that setting spray. Up on her brand and lost the support of a lot of people by her own actions throughout the year. What's up with these commercials now? Yeah, I want some Uggs. <laughs> yes. 
so far I haven't heard of any update or new that's crazy or man from you got everything you ever wanted and then you just want to I don't get that you got your dream and like okay what else about this girl because I'm pretty sure this is asked before oh no new something new to me y'all sorry the telescopic lift mascara from Lashgate made it, and you guys just know, Michaela had to bring it up and use this opportunity to poke fun at her drama. Aloha just dropped the 2023 Best of Beauty Awards. Basically, <laughs> hold on, because I gotta talk about it. Somebody commented and said about like that they think they heard that her that she fake her voice. You can it's really forced. You can hear it. I'm happy. I'm happy she's on here because that is so thick. She sound like she's trying to sound like she's from New Jersey, or if that's her voice, I don't know. But it's it's something. <laughs> prestigious titles you can get you already know what i'm gonna say we're doing a full face of all of the allure beauty best of beauty awards 2023 well 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 i try who's laughing now i tried to tell you i tried to tell you the infamous telescopic award winner baby oh, we can't we can't forget the fall need to put that on the top the lip already splashes. it's throwing me off these, i was so happy to see these one I don't know if these are like limited edition or what. Well, I could not buy those lashes. Look, lashes that Kiss has come out with every single pair. My is mom so wear Kiss lashes. Come light, on, light. Easy to apply. Oh. I'm gonna do one coat of telescopic and then I'm gonna. Yeah, why does Light want to do this now? Ah, uh, so, messing with Light, y'all. She ain't talking about none. Oh, why I keep doing that? There we go. A lot of people seem to be living for her joking about it, but I just find it sad that this new generation of beauty influencers are being celebrated for lying about results. It's not- I don't know anything about that, y'all. It's about deceptive marketing, but I guess it worked for both Michaela and L'Oreal. I'm sure Lashgate was probably one of L'Oreal's most successful sponsorships. I bet at first they were a little bit worried of where it was going to go, but that video got millions and millions of views. I'm pretty sure it's sitting at like 30 million views. Right really? Now. People ran out and bought it to test it for themselves. I want to go test it now. I bought the mascara myself to test <laughs> I it. I need to go test it. The mascara is fine on its own without falsies, so it doesn't surprise hmm. me that it made this list. I think I've seen this video. Anyways, guys, let me know what oh my god, y'all. What is going on with my girl Jacqueline? I love Jacqueline. Her palette, the first palette she um had and then had to redo because it wasn't blending is the one I bought and it was one of my favorite palettes. That's I would still say this to this day. Her palette is like the smoothest eyeshadow I've ever had. And that says a lot because I buy a lot of palettes. But that palette was my favorite. And it's, it sucks that you like you see that like people don't want to work for like what they want their dream and I'm like you got your dream you got your cosmetic brand and then you make you make people work for you because you don't want to do it. I would be like I, I don't know how much work goes into like a cosmetic brand and um, I would love to have my own one day So I'm gonna pin this because one day it's gonna happen But like just to see the fact that it's just falling like so bad because she don't want to do the work or, or just got lazy It sucks because I'm like people girl your brand is like top-notch like top tier and the fact that it's just like drop it down Because like she don't care that sucks. Also, I didn't know nothing about that mascara. I think I seen that video though I think I have seen that video on TikTok and I was like, oh my God, this thing, like I said, do it really look like that? And I need to get something because I want to try it because I love wearing lashes. And if I could find some mascara that'll like help me not have to wear some all the time, I would do so. So y'all, this was a mess and I had to get into it because I was like, okay, I didn't know she had a new brand. I still don't know what that clothing stuff is. I think it's so random though. So we'll just have to see y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. I woke up and I was like, oh wow, 171. You know, we getting there. Okay, baby steps but thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for reacting with me thank you for subscribing why did i say that so weird thank you for subscribing don't forget to like comment share, and subscribe follow me on instagram at i am tatiana green and we got more mess to catch on because y'all i'm getting into it bye